Coronavirus led to the cancellation of July 4th fireworks on the Esplanade in Boston. Now, many are choosing to light up illegal fireworks throughout greater Boston. It really is not just them having a few minutes of fun. It's, it's really impacting a lot of people. Sharon lives in Peabody with her family. She asked us to withhold her last name and says people illegally using fireworks are causing trauma. It's exhausting because I go to bed every night and then I worry about getting woken up again at some point during the night to deal with my dog or my daughter who hears the fireworks and starts crying. In Boston, calls to police are up 2,300% for the year related to fireworks. That according to Mayor Marty Walsh compared to last year. You feel scared, you know, because every year you see so many houses be burning because it's a fire, fire car. Quintino Gonzalez says that his nephews lived at these now charred triple deckers on Mount Everett Street. They were wrecked a year ago by fireworks lit by someone else. People don't realize that uh, the unexploded fireworks can get under the porch and rubbish. John Dempsey is fire commissioner in Boston. He says fireworks are for professionals and you need a permit to use them here. This Massachusetts is the most strict uh, state in the country as far as fireworks go. Which hasn't mattered. This year in Brockton, the numbers of fireworks reports to police have surged since Memorial Day, 235. The year before that, it was 8, and in 2018, 13. You hear the noise upstairs. The family and contractor are working on this. They started about two weeks ago. They're hoping by the end of the summer this home will be livable again.